Wilson brought a box of pencils to class. He gave eight pencils to each of the seven students in his class. How many pencils did Mr. Wilson have at first? So do we know the total here? The answer is no. So we represent an unknown total with a question mark. Now, we draw a bar model representing that total also. Now there were seven students, so we need to divide that into seven equal parts. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, one thing I like to do so students get the right number of lines and they don't accidentally do eight, is if there are seven equal parts, I need to draw six lines and just get them into the habit of that. If there are two equal parts, we draw one line to divide it up. So it's always take away one. There are some other strategies we can use. Seven's a bit of a hard one because it's a prime number, but there are other strategies we can use for things like um, fours, sixes, eights. All right, so we don't know the total. We know there are seven students and each student got eight pencils. Now, I could go and represent each equal part like this, but that would be time consuming. So, to represent multiplication, we've got our equal parts. We draw it like this to show that we know they're equal parts, and you could colour them as well to represent that they are equal parts. So your colour coding says these are all the same value. And because I've put the value under one of them, it applies to the rest of the bar that each part is worth eight pencils. So I have seven students who each received eight pencils. So to find out how many pencils there were in total, seven eighths. Uh, 56. So there were, Mr. Wilson had 56 pencils. If he shared them between his seven students, each of them got eight.